Hi Millwall Tube. Reflections video for this afternoon's overwhelming victory over Preston North End at the Den. Another taste of what we can achieve this season. A fully fit team and we will make the playoffs, I predict, come next May. We absolutely overwhelmed Preston this afternoon and we should have won more than 3-1. That scoreline really flatters them. Absolutely stellar performance by Roman SA, scoring one of the goals. Uh, first goal was scored by George Honeyman, finally. And the third goal, uh, just after half-time, which really killed the game off, was uh, a first for Macaulay Langstaff. Yes, he's done it. And you could almost feel the audible relief around the ground. But uh, we sat back for some reason in the second half. Uh, whether that's the gaffer uh, telling him to do that or whether it's just a case of you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, Coops is an, uh, well, he was a Neil defender, but also under a certain other manager who preserved leads rather than uh, improved on them. But we kept inviting them on, kept inviting them on, inevitably we conceded. And yes, I haven't mentioned him yet, but another absolutely inept referee uh, who took the shine off it slightly by after Ido Maku was clipped by their defender, went down angry because of the fact the defender looked as if he was trying to get him sent off, he told him so, got shoved halfway across the pitch, and then the little little man in orange, the tango man, flashed his little red card and sent him off. So uh, just as well he's on the periphery because he ain't going to be playing next week and uh, it all falls on room and essay now again. But the form he was in today, I think he'll enjoy it. The way we play today, nobody is want to go to face us in an hurry. Cardiff or whoever. Come on you lions. Hi Millwall Tube. Uh, predictions video for Tuesday evening's game away at Cardiff City. Uh, Rumour has it you have to be mad to take the job at Cardiff and the stats would back that up. Uh, five managers now in three years, one of Neil's former clubs of course, and they gave uh, the aptly named, uh, I can't think of his first name, but I know his surname was Bullet, the Bullet, last Sunday if all that makes sense, and are again managerless. So, all of that uh, brings us to the form which is woeful. One point from seven games and they sit rock bottom of the table after being thrashed 4-1 on Saturday. All of which usually would give me the jitters. I'd be freaking out thinking this is the kind of place we go to and we're going to um, lose 1-0 with a woeful performance ourselves, giving them their first win of the season. But no, 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 we ain't going down that road. And what's more, we ain't going to do that this season under Neil. We'll put in a Millwall performance, we'll put in a performance like last Saturday, and we will win. We're going to win 2-0, and the goal scorers are going to be uh, Mikhail Ivanovic, he's going to get off a mark, and it will be Macaulay uh, Langstaff. I reckon he's going to get a few now that he's broke that uh, initial duck. That's often how it happens, and it will for him. So, we're going to play well, there's going to be no slip-ups, Final score, Cardiff City nil, Millwall 2. Come on, you Lions. Hello, Millwall Tune. My post-match analysis of the Preston North End game. Still got a smile on my face now, about 12 hours after. But, um, yeah, I thought another great performance. The front four, I just look... Got flair, we're passing it around. We're just looking, you know... We're looking confident and we look like we're going to score and every time we go up. I've got to say, one person I've got to say today who seems to be getting a lot of stick this season and rightly so sometimes his defending lets him down. But Joe Bryan would probably could be my outside man of the match this game. What people don't seem to see is the interceptions he gets and the way he reads the game sometimes. I mean, one of our goals was definitely by his interception. I thought he was immense today. Yes, his defending lets him down, but Joe Bryan, excellent today. I thought in Messi, he was immense again. I nearly said he Messi, but Essi, immense again today. What can I say? Every, every week, his value's going up a million pounds the way it's going at the moment. I thought Honeyman was great. 
I was getting stick after the QPR game. I was there behind that goal. It wasn't the easiest. I think it was almost a bit of a bobble as well. Get some stick after the game, even though you played well. Great to see him score that goal. Similar sort of position as well. Langstaff said he'd score this week, and he did. What a time. Early game with the boy. No pressure on him. He's at the right place with Harris. He could be an excellent number nine. Um, Duncan Watmore yet again, you know, if we keep him fit, what a player he's going to be. He's going to be a 10, 15 goals at least this season. Um, yeah, usually what we're always worried about at Millwall since the Morrison era is scoring people scoring goals up front. And uh, great all round, I thought the 3 1 flattened them. I thought, you know, them to score at the end was a bit of a gutter. Shame about Emma Koo at the end. But he's a young lad. I don't think we're going to miss him, sadly, for three games. He's not getting the games anyway. But great all-round team performance. Onward to the Cardiff game. Um, what a great time to play them, I think, at the moment. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win. Sadly, I'm not going this one. 2-0 um, win. I'm going to go for Ivanovic and Langstaff to score the goals. Come on, you Lions.